What do you think when you think UC Davis? Well, think again. Here's a list of UC Davis discoveries that have improved modern life in unexpected ways. Imagine making driving safer. In early automobile design, safety was kind of an afterthought. Gasoline was no different. Lead, which is a neurotoxin unsafe at any amount, was added to gasoline to improve performance. Until, in the 1970s, Physicist Thomas Cahill and colleagues used the cyclotron at the Crocker Nuclear Lab to study air quality, which led Governor Jerry Brown to pass the first laws banning lead in gasoline. Fast forward to the 90s when people were starting to realize, maybe we can't use gasoline forever? Professor Andrew Frank believed the best way forward was with fuel-efficient vehicles that combine gasoline engines with electric motors running on rechargeable batteries. So, he and the students made some. Today, he's considered the father of the plug-in hybrid. Imagine fish healing burnt bears. During recent wildfires, our veterinarians were presented with bears and a mountain lion cub with severe burn wounds. Jamie Payton adapted a treatment that Brazilian researchers had developed for human burn victims using fish skin, specifically tilapia. Their skin supply collagen, promote healing, and are harmless if swallowed. This technique has since been used to treat animals around the world, from kittens and ponies to kangaroos and koalas. Imagine a century of keeping Tahoe blue. Professor John LeConte took the first scientific measurements of Lake Tahoe's famously clear blue waters in 1868. A century later, the Tahoe Research Group, founded by Professor Charles Goldman, began monitoring the lake and studying its long-term environmental health. Their work helped reveal how humans and wildfires affect the lake and its surroundings. Today, those lessons are shaping management of lakes from the Arctic to Chile and Patagonia. Imagine blazing the way for Chardonnay. Today, California is one of the world's top wine producers. That didn't just happen by accident. Even in the 1800s, many saw the potential of our Mediterranean climate and the need for better research. California wine was just about to go big when... Prohibition left everyone to just chill for 13 years. When it was over, UC Davis almost single-handedly brought California wines back to life. Physiologist Maynard Emmerine determined which grapes would grow best in which regions. Professors Harold Olmo and Andrew Walker developed many of the varieties that would help make places like Napa and Sonoma become the stars of international winemaking. Professor Ann Noble invented the wine wheel to help researchers catalog and specify aromas. Today, we're addressing the challenge of climate change and sustainability. We even built the first LEED Platinum Certified Winery in the world, which has served as a model for universities and wineries everywhere. From the cars you drive to the wine you drink, it's all in a day's work at UC Davis. Check out all these and more at ucdavis.edu slash discoveries.